Hello everybody, welcome back to more Spellweaver. We're gonna try something a little different today. And I'm going to try to unlock a quest site. So quest sites are, I, I covered it a little bit before, but um, you see all these little nodes over here. They're quests that you can get every single day. I think it's every single day. And uh, you have to do something special to get them. Like this one is uh, get uh, 1,540 fame or well that one you have to that one you have to buy uh, win four quick battles in a row with an order hero like so you have to do special stuff and this one is just defeat Queen Ariana in a PvE challenge which is supposedly just going to be a very very tough deck so I'm gonna try s oh no that's a bad hand not a lot of oh that's a lot of ha land hand a lot of land hands um so this is an, it's a deck that I've constructed that focuses very heavily on um, energy. It's green and blue, very focused on energy. Let's go ahead and put something out right away. We're gonna put down, or, ooh. Should we? Sure, let's go really, let's do a lot of setting up. Um, I want another... I want a green one, just so we have one of both. Even though we have all these in our hand. Um, yeah, we're just gonna do a lot of a lot of setting up. I hope that I don't get really behind now, though. Alright, so Foundry Engineers is pretty dang good. Alright, I'm trying to decide which one I want down, and then I will explain why. Uh, I think I want... I want Foundry Engineers. So Foundry Engineers has, uh, it comes out, it's a 1-2, two, 2 mana, has 1 energy, you see all that stuff. But, every time it has 2 energy, you can use 2, or, well, okay, you can use 2 energy to summon a 2-2 two, two Golem onto the field. Every turn it gets plus 1 energy. There's also other ways that you can give the cards energy. So it's basically a machine that pumps out two twos. Oh shoot. That is gonna suck. That is gonna be really bad. Oh. We're already 16 to 24. That is very terrifying. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to make it sleep. So let's go ahead and pump out one extra mana. And then let's do... Let's play all of our 1-1s. One okay, we'll put that to sleep there. And then Unstable Reactor. And you know what? Let's actually put... Boop. Okay, so what I did there, sleep, it has a, an energy counter. And I'm glad that I can take the time to explain this because this is a computer. It has a sleep counter and every turn it uh, loses one energy. If it hits zero energy then sleep goes away. So I basically just, um, I, I want to keep that debilitated for a little while, and basically every turn I'm going to be able to do that because of Unstable Reactor. Every turn it gets an energy, and I can, every turn I can take one energy off of it and put it somewhere else. However, it's going to get two a turn, or I think, I thought it should get maybe like three, but oh well. Um, if it gets more than five, it explodes dealing two damage to everybody. So that can be really, that could be really bad. Uh, I'm gonna definitely play my draw card first. And then let's, let's see. I think I want the force wielder down. This is just a mana battery card. <laughs> Um, let's put an energy on here, which we'll summon a golem with. And now the question is, do I summon this straight up, or do I use my weapon mastery, which allows me to offset when I play the card, but until next turn, but then next turn, it'll be a 2-2 two -two instead of a 1-1. One -one. I think I'm gonna do that. I think I'd rather have... I think I would rather have that happen. Um, what's left on this? Okay, still one.
Or hold on. Pay one if you can't sacrifice sleep. Okay, so it's still good for one more turn. And then next turn... Ooh, a next turn unstable reactor is going to blow. That is... <laughs> that's going to be much worse for us than it is for them. Can we double block? We can't double block. Ah, Shoot. Is there anything else we can do? Not really. I'm I'm okay with it dying in a way because maybe we can um Yes, I'd love to. Okay. So now this has a whole bunch of energy. I'll explain that in a second. There's so much to explain right now. Um This is going to blow up unless I can get rid of one of my Oh, shoot. Yeah, I'm gonna blow up unless I can get rid of a golem. Because it gets plus one energy for every single artifact. We have three artifacts. It's gonna blow up. So first things first, we definitely want to uh, get rid of one of those. And I'm gonna put it on sleep and not here because then we just make another artifact. And that would stink. Because that's not what we want. So uh, let's draw a card. Oh, we got another sleep. That's really actually very helpful. We're gonna put this thing to sleep up here. And we are going to also go for that. All right. So where do we want to spend our mana? Do we want New Horizons? Do we need an order level or do we want to spend it to give... Ooh. We want we we need this dead. We need to lose our golem. We have to. So I think we have to attack something directly that we know is going to die. Oh, but he's just gonna switch and block it with this thing, isn't he? No, no. We gotta sacrifice that. Otherwise, we lose our entire board. Okay, we can't attack with that yet. Hold on, let's take this back. Let's take this back. Let's think this through. Maybe, do we throw this on the front line? It can defend that way. I think we, I think we do want it on the front line for now. Oh, this. Well, let's um, let's spend the rest of our energy to put it on the shield guy. We I want have I want to have two shields at my disposal instead of additional attack. This guy gets plus two attack for every energy spent, and you can spend as much energy on a turn as possible. Boom. Okay, so that's out of the way. It's gonna be put to five. In theory, it's gonna be put to five. Four. Wait, is it each other other artifact? It must be each other artifact, or maybe this isn't... Oh, this isn't an artifact. Okay, thank goodness. Uh, that helps. Is it my turn again? Is sleep gone? Oh, no, sleep's not gone. Oh, that would have been really bad. I need that sleep counter going. All right. So... Oh, I probably should have not done that. Alright. Do we attack directly? And hope that he doesn't block? Or do I attack something specific? Is sleep gonna wear off on this? That has zero. Okay, sleep's gonna wear off on that if I don't attack. He's probably going to switch it to something else. He's going to switch to this stupid thing and then... Oh, man. Oh, I wish I was faster. If I was faster, I could solve a little bit of the problems here. I 
I can attack with this? I didn't even know I could attack with this. Alright, summon- should I summon a golem as well? Yeah. That won't put us over. I think we want all of our energy on here. Okay. <laughs> and then in that case... Return a creature you control to its owner's hand. We can only play this like a spell though, not like an instant. I think... Oh, I guess... Ah, oh, shoot. Hold on. Let me just play this. Because we might as well. We might as well. Alright, so what were we doing? We were attacking directly. Attacking that. Attacking... Directly. Attacking directly. We have a whole lot of shields at our disposal, so we're gonna attack. Oh my god. I did it again. Oh, shoot. Oh, that was really bad. This card is so good. Did he have- does he have another one? Oh, man. When attack- is, I mean, I've already looked over this. I should have known. I forgot about this card. It's so strong. Uh, there's nothing I can do. Done. I- I lose. I lose off of that. Um... The only thing I can think of. Oh, I probably should shoot. I should have really waited to do that. Alright, uh, I could play this and destroy this, but do I want to do that? Probably not. But two damage isn't going to kill everything. Let's put this back in my hand so it doesn't die. And then let's use Weapon Mastery. And we'll put this underneath myself. So it'll be shielded from the blast. This blast isn't going to do anything. Oh, man. If only it did one more damage. We would have had a much better time. But this is, this is super, super over. Oh, let's just let it happen. That's okay. I'm going to go up here and... Well, it turns out that button is just a hard exit. I thought it was a, um, a menu screen. Nope. Uh, alright. So I don't think that's gonna work. Let's try out a different deck, maybe. Let's try out this one. I think I played this last episode, right? So I don't know if- I don't, I don't think I have to explain too much. Uh, that is not a good hand, though. That is not really a good hand, either. Maybe we'll be okay, though. Dominion card. Let's throw away Lord Karthus for now. It's a great card, but it's not a great card to get on your first turn. <laughs> so, oh shoot. This is crazy. It's crazy to get so quickly. Um, I think we have to do this, though. Yeah, we're gonna play our prince. We we just want something on the board. Can't do anything with it quite yet. There's that nasty fella, but we're gonna have the ability to steal it later. For now, okay. Do we want a raven or do we want this chalice? I think we want to play a raven. Is it just one Might Emblem? It's just one. So I don't think we do anything yet. If it was two, then we I would totally sacrifice the Raven for a kill on that. Let's end for now. I'm really... Oh, I can't block that. 
I'm gonna have to sacrifice this. I want to keep it alive. I think that I think that's a fine idea. It was worth the bird, and we do get a heal from it that way, so that's not that bad. All right, we need mana. We need mana. We don't necessarily need cards, so let's go for the skill. Can, what can we attack directly? We can only attack the front line directly. Do we want another Bloodborne Prince? Do we want to buff this up to high heavens? Maybe. I think we want to buff it up to high heavens. We got a lot of healing that it can do. If he wants to step in and block it with something else, it's not a big deal. But I don't think he will. And that's going to give us a nice chunk of change here. We're at 23, is at 20. This feels a lot uh, tougher. It feels a lot stronger. Oh my, oh my word. Got two of them already. So we're going to steal something next turn. I'll tell you that much. What do we want to steal? I'm going to use the Helm of Dominion and I'm going to steal one of his angels. That's what I want to do. <laughs> and we'll attack directly and just kind of... Hope he wants to block. I greatly prefer him to block, but I don't think he will. Or she, it is a... Yeah, it's technically... Since it's a computer, I'm just gonna judge it based off of the character. Queen Aliana. I think we're done now. Unless we should probably throw back something. I'm gonna throw back... Oh, I really shouldn't have thrown back Grappling Hook. What was I thinking? Um... I want Vampiric Touch. Alright, so he's just... He's getting things on the board. Play spells or activate powers. I can't. So I guess I'm just going to let them through. Can we play Lord Karthus next turn? Oh, no, we can't. Ah. We're close to it, but we can't. So. Do we get ready to play it later? Maybe we do. Or do we go even more unstoppable? And try to go for the nice heals. Well, let's put a Dominion level on. We don't get the ability that way, but that's not a big deal. Or should we steal somebody? I think we should steal somebody else. Who to steal? I think probably this Guardian of the Faithful. Dibs. Now you're mine. Alright, so I'm going to attack you directly. If you want to block with somebody else, that's okay. Oh. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought he was going to switch to that for some reason. I don't think he can, though. Do I want to sacrifice something? Nope. We're good. That was a very weird exchange with Lifebound and, and everything. Alright. Oh, why didn't I... I should have really tried to... Sure. I mean, get it out of the way. I mean, it's gonna... It's gonna get weakened anyways. Slowly, but surely. Might as well use it as a pawn. Uh, shoot. Let's throw away... Oh, wait, we can... Oh, no, we can't play Lord Karthus. Let's throw away... Our second... Oh, okay, good. That would have been really sucky if we couldn't. So let's put a Dominion level out, which lets us play Lord Karthus. And when I play him, I can choose a minion with four or less attack and just destroy it straight up. Which is real nice. Um, I 
Should I attack directly? Should I attack something in specific? And sacrifice this? I think I want to attack. I want to get this out of the way. And I think he'll be okay with it. This is a fine trade for me. That is an A-OK -okay trade. So, dead. Dead. Not dead, not dead. Oh, okay. So one- no, wait, wait, wait. One died, one didn't. Everything's normal. So basically I traded mine- my one for his one. Was that a great trade? Eh, yeah, not too great. Gain two life for each of your order levels. Oof. Rest in peace, Lord Karthus, I suppose. I'm... Oh, man. Is that... Is that how it always works? The... Uh, it does four damage, and then... It just does a leftover? I guess that, that must be how it works. Let's throw away something. I'm gonna throw away this chalice, hopefully. Thank goodness. I want one more here. Or should I... Okay. Never mind. I want to kill that. I want it gone. And I'll play a gross experiment. And I'll attack this directly, and it has no choice but to allow it. And we got our board control back, I believe. We so did. Um, the health totals are ridiculous. It's 24 to 30 after all of that nonsense. So let me take a fruit punch break. Ooh, I don't like the flying ranged. Let's get another mana. Okay, so this is definitely a good idea. Let's kill that, I think. And now the choice is... I think we do this. Or do we give this unstoppable? Yeah, we do. Because then we can also draw a card. It's good value. Alright, so we attack. And we might as well attack with this, too. We'll get one health back no matter what. If he blocks this with the ranged, he blocks with the ranged. He won't be able to kill it unless he has a buff. I could sacrifice something. But that wouldn't be... That wouldn't do me any good. This way I get a heal. That's the that's the only reason I attacked. Alright, I th I feel good about where we are. I don't like that. Okay, I can't do anything about that. My vampire, my bloodborne prince, which has saved me so much, has uh finally become a zero attack creature. Lord Karthus, please? Nope. No Lord Karthus. What shall we do here? Oh. I think I want to put the weakness token here. I'm going to summon the bird. However, I'm going to use it to draw a card. Ah, not what I wanted at all. Well, we might as well play that. Hmm. <laughs> it makes it just makes sense to attack with both of these, correct? Yeah, no, it just it just makes sense. Oh. Wait. What? Okay, so that's going to kill both of these. Or, I mean, both of these are going to kill it. Oh, no, no, no. It doesn't have first strike. Why didn't he block with both the ranged? Won't I kill this? No, this will deal two damage. I think... These will both die. Oh, those will both die. What? I'm... I'm... 
so confused, but I'm okay with how that all went down. Not too big of a deal. These guys both got buffed up because that did have a weakness counter on it. Um, I don't think there's any point in really sacrificing to keep this guy alive. He's slowly just going to wither away. What is this one now? Oh, nothing super special. Do I just let this die now? It'll buff up both my guys. I'm just gonna let it die. I'm okay with that. I would rather it didn't happen, but uh, it's not a big deal. So we're definitely putting the chalice down, and we definitely want to wither something away. Hold on, this will look really weird, and is probably really stupid, but I'm gonna do that, which will let me get buffed up and draw a card. Shoot! No! Okay, well, we might as well spend our energy here that will heal us because of the chalice. Whenever it's, uh, whenever a minion dies, it gets one energy. Pay two mana to use all of the energy to heal. We'll attack that directly, we'll attack... I think that... Is that a good idea? Just leaving our defenses open? He'll, he'll double block. He'll double block. I think this one's a good idea, though. Because he has to sacrifice... A whole heck of a lot. Oh. He'll probably double block. I'm fine with this trade. No, I'm not! I'm so, I'm so confused about the sis the system I guessed. I I don't know, does it work that way in Magic the Gathering? How the attack it must. It must. Maybe I've just been confused my whole life. How it does the four damage, but then it does the uh the overflow, if you will. Oh man. That is that puts me in a bad spot. For sure. I have something to block with still Wow. Wow. I mean, there's nothing I can do. I got those guys down. All right. Boom. 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 Do I want to put an implant on something right now? Yeah, we have the mana to do it. We want to. Uh, let's put... Hmm. I think we want this. It'll keep it around longer. Should I tap that? I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna put this here. There's so much, uh, minimal movements and stuff around here. Alright. So I'd like to- oh, I can't. Should I trade my bird? I'll get a heal. Should I do that, though? Probably. Or maybe not. Yeah, we probably should. I want it out. I want it out of the way, real bad. Oh, but oh no, no, no! That was a bad idea. That was a bad idea. Oh, that's this is nice. That was probably one of the better cards we could get right now. And we want to put. All right, worst comes to worst, if we only ha can have one on him, what do we want? Maybe the grappling hook, so he can pull people to the front line like that. Cool. Then we just take the heal, because why not? 
Destroy an enemy creature? Are you kidding me? No! <laughs> That's terrible. That is like the worst possible thing that could have happened to me right there. It's just a straight up kill card. Oh, and we don't really have... A lot going on. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Play everything! Put, uh... Sure. And we'll grapple him up. We just did the exact same thing. Oh, we don't even have- we actually used all of our mana that turn. It's crazy. I just want- I need to draw... My... <laughs> I need to draw my- my mind control thing. That's what I really need. I can slowly wither people away. That's something. Oh, that is not what I need. Why am I drawing all my all my shrines now? Hmm. Put that down. I'm gonna sacrifice it. It's not Okay, that's better. Boom. Then let's put another implant on my raven. Do we want unblockable? I think we want unblockable. Okay. Do we do that? He could block it. And he probably will. Let's go ahead and let's just do that directly. Why did I... <laughs> I'm doing some things that I guess I don't really know why I'm doing. That's a fine trade. We do get the health. Everything. We might as well pull this up to the front. <laughs> just to be a butt. Because we have the mana to do it. Oh, this the health counters on this game are ridiculous. I'm fine with taking that hit. That's that, that doesn't bother me really. Cuz it does put down his defenses. Okay, we definitely want a soul raven down. For sure. I'm thinking maybe we even want to put a power spike armor on this thing up here. Just so that it slowly dies. Let's it's uh it's tapped right now. Let's go ahead and let's first things first, let's draw. Oh, that will help us. Not a ton. But it will help. It already has unblockable, correct? I thought it already had unblockable. Can't tell. Yes, it has unblockable. So that one has unblockable. Let's also put uh, unblockable on here. <laughs> All right. So let's go for that, and we'll attack directly. No, let's switch that up. We want that there. And that there, because then we'll get healed for one extra. Yeah. Okay. That's what we're doing. So we're up to 29, she's down to 24. Slowly but surely. Also, just because we have the mana to do it, might as well. Next turn we'll be able to put another weakness token down, but there we got the end of our turn. Our birds get plus one plus one, which is nice because I think this would die otherwise. Yeah, it would. Wait, why did uh Why did that die? Did it have I it must have had a weakness to token or whatever. Oh well, I guess I uh mismanaged that. That does stink. Do we have another Lord Karthus in here? Oh, we are gonna get down to the end of it. I think we're gonna have to get aggressive with our gnome surgeons. Weakness token. 
<laughs> um. Okay, this will die next turn. It will, for sure. Does this have a buff on it? Nope. Oh, man. What do I attack with? I can't attack with these. I also don't really have... I don't have any other um, implants in my deck. Not really. <laughs> How many cards are left? For us to draw. I have 15 left to draw. Shoot, I'm going to run out far before she is. I've got life bound, though. If I've got life bound, I think I have to get as much healing out as possible right now. Let's put it on here. Oh, no. No, no! I changed my mind! I changed my mind! Oh, that was dumb. I thought that maybe I had one more, but I guess I'm wrong. Oh, no! Well, okay, we have the heals there. That might be good enough to keep us alive longer than her. That's really what it's boiled down to. It's a, it's a war of attrition now. Um. What happens if I do this? Nothing? Okay. Uh, then I think he just gets that. It's done. It's fine. Ugh, okay. We don't have anybody that's fast enough to kill this. Can summon another bird. We always have that. So that's nice. We might as well sacrifice this thing. For No, we sh really shouldn't have done that. What am I doing? Well, we can finally get this card out of the way. That helps. We got the life there. Should we just keep this card in our hand? I don't know. Okay, so we gotta just get aggressive. Let's put that up on the front line. And we're just gonna attack with, uh, with everything. Everything we can. I think that is everything we can. That's okay. Yeah, he'll block that. That gives me the the health. She takes two damage. I'm up to 39. I I don't know how. Do I just lose in this game, or is there is there mill effects? I don't know. We will find out. I'm not I'm not gonna take that out just in case. Uh, hopefully this these Raven buffs are gonna be good enough. All right. Attack with everything. Okay, he's blocking that. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to sacrifice it. Wait, we get one extra damage. How much? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think that might be a better use. Win a game- wait, win a game by having 40 or more life? That's a- that's a win condition? I didn't know that was a win condition! We probably would have won next turn anyways. But, um... Because I did have- I had 11 cards left in my deck. We probably would have won the next turn anyways, but we freaking did it! That is, uh, shocking. That was- that's 12,000 gold. We also get... Flame Serpent, Swift and Unstoppable at the end of your turn. Sacrifice Flame Ser Serpent. Really, I've talked about that before. It seems really good in a red deck. Summon Totem. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may put a Totem card from them onto the field. Put the rest shuffled to the bottom of your deck. So there must Totem decks must be a thing that they're trying to make happen. Whenever an allied Shaman enters the field, you may pay one. If you do, Lightning Totem deals two damage to a creature. That sounds pretty cool. All right. Well, that was a that was a much longer episode than uh, originally intended, but we beat it. We beat the uh, the expert challenge or whatever. I feel pretty good about it. Uh, it was kind of a really weird weird way that it happened, but I, I'm happy. But that about does it for this episode here, though. Thank you everybody for watching, and thank you for the immense support you guys have been leaving on Spellweaver so far. It's very clear you guys want to see more. So if that's your intent that you want to tell me that. 
then keep on doing what you're doing. Likes and comments and all that kind of stuff is the perfect way to say, I want to see more of it. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.